The natural environment may be considered to be a civilian object, and therefore, parts of it may be targeted, providing that the test for a military objective is met. For example, if the enemy conceals its armed forces in a forest, in that case, the legality of the attack will have to be assessed in light of the proportionality test, putting in the balance the expected damage caused to the environment and the military advantage anticipated from the attack. The International Court of Justice has stated in that sense, in its advisory opinion on the nuclear weapons, that states must take environmental consideration into account when assessing what is necessary and proportionate in the pursuit of legitimate military objectives. However, no military advantage, as important as it might be, could ever justify widespread, long-term and severe damage to the natural environment. This comes from the absolute nature of the prohibition to cause such a damage under both Article 35, Paragraph 3 and Article 55 of Additional Protocol 1. Again, this contrasts with the usual application of the principle of proportionality, according to which even serious damage to civilian objects may be justified when the military advantage is very significant. In addition, it does not matter whether or not the damage to the environment was incidental, provided that the effects were intended or at least expected when using specific means or methods of warfare. The absolute nature of the prohibition under Additional Protocol 1 explains why a small number of states, like the United States, oppose it. This is particularly the case concerning nuclear weapons. The persistent objections of those states mean that it is difficult to assess the customary status of the rule. Either we interpret that opposition as being strong enough to prevent the formation of any customary norm, or we consider that the customary prohibition has emerged based on the practice of all the other states, but that it does not apply to those having continuously opposed it. This second option has been chosen by the International Committee of the Red Cross in its study on customary IHL. In any case, the prohibition in question, being of customary nature or not, is clearly applicable in international armed conflicts and not in non-international armed conflicts.